just to give you an idea of the kind of approach that I would use, I want to use an example uh, with your own behavior. Okay, it was, when you were coming to this, uh, uh, to this room, I noticed that initially people were very careful about selecting the seat in the room where they were sitting. Now the room is full, everybody's sitting next to, uh, some people are sitting next to people that they don't know, but initially people were very careful in selecting seats that were not adjacent to where somebody that they didn't know was sitting, okay? Normally people do not like to sit next to strangers, okay? If you go to a movie theater and half the seats are empty, you will find that nobody will sit next to a stranger. Why is that? If you ask an anthropologist, he'll say, oh, uh, we have a concept for personal space, everybody has a personal space, and we don't like to invade someone else's personal space. A biologist such as myself would say, well, that's not really an explanation of behavior. It's a description, okay? Say that you have a personal space, essentially you're saying you don't want strangers to be too close to you or you don't want to be too close to a stranger, but it doesn't explain why uh, you don't want to be close to a stranger, okay? So uh, by looking just at humans, nothing really happens if you sit next to a stranger, right? Even though you're very careful about what you do, typically you don't make eye contact, you try not to touch the stranger. If you turn up the same way at the same time, you typically smile. There's certain things that you do. You know, why do you all this? Why do you do all these things, right? There's no consequence to sitting next to a stranger. Well, if you study monkeys, you learn that uh, uh, being close to a stranger has a lot of consequences. <laughs> and, uh, and one of them is aggression. Okay, being close to an individual that you don't know raises dramatically the risk that you will be attacked by this individual. Okay, so monkeys are very careful. Uh, about where they stand or where they uh, sit uh, while they're resting or when they're walking looking for food. And this is something that you see in many different species of primates that live in complex social groups. So clearly this is a biological predisposition that we have inherited from our primate ancestors that in our current environment really serves no purpose, but we don't even pay attention to it and we keep behaving in the way our primate ancestors behave for millions of years, okay? so. This is an example of the way in which study, study not even primates can inform uh, 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 our understanding of, of human behavior.